Okay? Now, we look at this last picture here. This is T with 5 degree of freedom. And this upper tail, probability T5 greater equal to 0 0.655. That is the size of the shady area, and the shady area is our p-value, okay? This is our p-value. Probability T5 greater equal to 0 0.655. Okay, as I show you two different tables. For the one we show you earlier, this one, okay? Look at the number here. Okay, look at the number here. T with five degree of freedom. You move horizontally. You find the first number, 0 0.727. And this number is already bigger than the one we calculate, 0 0.655. Okay? So if I move down, what can I see? Hmm? Remember? One sided alternative, two sided alternative. One sided alternative is what? 0 0.25. Am I correct? Two sided is 0 0.5. We should look at what? One sided, which is 25%. And what does that mean in our picture here? Look at the picture here. Okay, look at the picture here. The one we see on the table in five degree of freedom of T distribution, 0 0.727. Anything beyond that is 25%. Remember? And what we calculate is 0 0.655. And the red shady area is what? The p-value, as you can see from the picture. P-value is probability T5 greater equal to 0 0.655, which is bigger than what? The blue shady area. And blue shady area, we got it from what? table that is 25 percent so we can say p value greater than what 25 percent since bigger than half like the five percent our conclusion do not reject this time okay um this is for two-sided you don't need to copy now but leave a space for it because when we're coming back to it we going to use this okay